Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with a great dealer of ours, Bruce Richardson from Videolink. Bruce, tell us about the show. How's it been going? Oh, it's pretty good. There's a lot of new technologies going on. You get to see a lot of new old friends and new friends and uh, we're having some fun going to a lot of meetings and uh, you know there's IP everywhere now I mean everybody's talking about the IP um, integration and uh, it really seems to be where we're at, at this year at NAB. Yeah, and Bruce, you are, I was at the New Tech meeting I you know, you're the CEO of the company I saw that you guys again were no, no, not the, not the CEO of New Tech, you're the CEO of VideoLink but I was at the New Tech meeting and I noticed that you won an award? Oh yeah, we are uh, one of the top 10 dealers in North America. Um, we work really hard, we love New Tech, they're our core business. Um, we've been working with them for about 20 plus years and uh, we love their equipment, we love their technology, the people, and uh, of course now with the, uh, with the NDI, the, the network digital interface, or sorry, network device interface, um, with this IP ingestion that, or IP integration that we're doing, it's, it's a great, great, jump leap into the future and in fact it's really a leap into the present because we're already doing it so that's a really good point i, I got a chance to talk to andrew cross I, guy. I i was wa watching the, his presentation and i see ptc optics behind him on the display it was made me feel great tell, tell me about new tech tell me about the cameras your customers what are they asking about well we've got you know we've got people that come in that know way more than us you know into our shop and then we've got people that come in and they know nothing and we we try to educate them as best we can on the newest technologies um we were really impressed with the ptz optics multiple outputs ip wireless there's some great great you know things with your equipment uh ties in with the new tech gear really really well um ndi you know it's gonna it's gonna tie everything together and uh you know we're really happy we just actually i just got a note we just sold six more of your cameras to a police department so you know we're really happy about that um people are really liking them they're they're great uh great value um multiple outputs we we always like um devices that have um you know uh, uh, multiple ways of using them uh, anything that is is you know applicable to we can move it using on a different system. I mean, anything that's like that, we love it, and and uh, and that's where you guys excel. You know, it's 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 we have a we have our older cameras like our old Sony's, which we got rid of. We're we're SDI only, and you guys have SDI, HDMI, and wireless and IP, and it's great, and it's so um, and a great price point. So we're really happy with the product. Apparently, our customers are too. So. So uh, as you know, we just released our Gen Two products, which yes. added H.265. Uh, um, we added MJPEG streaming, 1080p60. Tell me about 1080p60, because is, is that something that was like crucial for your clients in general, the broadcast market? Tell me about this 1080p60. Well, it's mixed, right? I mean, we have uh, we have a lot of people that are, are you know, 1080i specific, 1080p specific. And, and a lot of people, it's funny because a lot of people that are starting out in this business think they have to go 1080. And it's nice to do it if you require it. But, but you know, it's not absolutely required. Like, like streaming, for example, you know, we tell people if you're ingesting 1080, you can still stream 720. It looks like a million dollars. You don't have to ingest 1080 and stream 1080. You don't have to do that. As long as you're starting, a, it's, an old, it's an old adage, garbage in, garbage out. And so if you're ingesting 1080 or, or a 4K or something like that, and you're mixing it down and streaming a 720, it's still going to look like a million dollars. So, you know, for some people require it, some people don't. It's nice to have if you need it, and it's nice to have a choice. Now, we've had a lot of questions about our H.265, which is adding about a 30 to 40 percent lower compression than even H.264. I'm still doing my homework on that one. So about that one? Great. Okay, so I won't ask you any questions about a high, if high efficiency video coding. Uh, but I guess just we'll end on, you know, just tell us a little bit about VideoLink. I know you guys specialize in some of those mobile production systems. Yeah, uh, you know, most of our clients are, are, are on the go. I mean, uh, we do deal with some bigger studios that are hardware and, and hard, hard installed studios. But a lot of our clients are on the go. So we've got, uh, we've got some custom cases we make so that people can, Matt, can you zoom in there on? you go, um, so that people can haul their gear around either, either by hand so we've got these little guys, you can do it by hand in the backseat of a car. You can do these bigger ones, these big air packs in a truck. And, and we've been doing those for quite a few years. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's just something we do because, I, you know, people are like, how do, you, how do you decide where you're going? You know, we've been in business 28 years and we have four offices in Canada. Um, and people are always saying, you know, how do you decide where to go and what to do and what? And you know what? Our clients guide us 
a lot. I mean, there's, there's, we don't know everything. We don't know some, some of the guys that come to us know ten times what I know, and and I learn from them. So a lot of our guidance is from the clients. Uh, I do my homework. We're online. We're on the social networks. We're connected with the manufacturers, but but they'll come up with things that say, you know, hey, look at this, and we'll like, that's brilliant. We didn't even know about it. So. We try to work kind of both sides of the fence. One side is with the manufacturers we're dealing with, and the other side is really listen to our clients and, and really try to help them as best we can. And I think that's why we've been so successful, and we're still around after all these years. Yeah, that is a major feat. I can't believe you're almost going on 30 years I, here. Yeah, I think we're uh, 87, so. That's, a, that's just about 30 years. Now, yeah, so it's uh, almost 30 years, so. The, um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that, from what I've heard from your customers, you provide amazing support. And uh, one of the things I know a lot of people say is, you know, if I, if I call video link, I get a person on the phone and they yeah, know what they're talking we're, about. We're, you know, and we hear this a lot. They're, they're, we're, we're a fairly small company. We're, we're, we're less than 20 people, four offices. That's small in the, in the grand scheme of things. We're, we're, you know, we see companies out there that have offices in every province and they've got hundreds and hundreds of employees and they take two weeks to get back to a client. And, and really in our industry, you know, television, live events, you know, that kind of thing. When somebody needs something, we need it yesterday. So when someone calls our office, we, we pick up the phone. If it's after hours, guess where it goes? It goes to the CEO's cell phone so we don't miss people. And, and, and we're willing to do that because we want, you know, we, we want to keep our good name. We want to help our clients. We want to get, obviously, we want to grow. And, and we want, it, it's, it's, it feels good to help people. And if we're doing it after hours, it doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen, and that's fine. I'm willing to take the time, and, and my staff is, we're in different time zones, so we try to do the best we can. And, and services have really, it's just one of the most important things. It's not all about the product sometimes. It's about, you know, what kind of, how do I tie these things together? And then after the fact, you know, I'm having a problem with this. What do I do? And, or where do I go to find more information? Or, and we know all that stuff. So we either we know it to tell them or we can at least guide them to go to the right area and find out. Yeah, and the, one of the things that uh, with a company like you, you, you know about new tech. You're one of the biggest new tech dealers, but you also know a lot about vMix as well. So you and I'm, I'm guessing, you know, if a customer uses Wirecast, you know a little bit about that as well. So you are, have the ability to kind of support them in most of the major broadcasting software solutions. We're, we're still working out all the differences and, and you know, the, the pluses and minuses, and there's the six of one, half a dozen of the other. It's like that. Not everybody needs the same thing. We've got, we've got competing products, and, and they sure don't like that. But again, it's about our clients, and it's about the end users, and that's who we're there to support. You know, I, I mean, I love my suppliers, yeah. but, and we chose them very carefully. You know, we, we, we work with the ones, we, we work with the ones that want to work with us and the ones that can help us and our clients. We want to work with them. And the other guys, we kind of, you know, we're, yeah, we're a dealer for them, but we don't recommend them because of this or that or the other thing. It's, it's, we want people to be happy. We want the clients to be happy. And we want things to work properly, integrate properly. So that's a big part of it. I, I, I you know, it's, you can't. Not everybody likes a Ford, you know? Some people like a Ford, some people like a Chevy, some people like, you know what I mean? And so that applies with our business as well. When we're dealing with live video mixers and switchers and streaming units and, and cameras, it's not everybody's gonna love that product. They're gonna want something different. Um, you guys have an advantage. You've got multiple outputs, multiple transmission protocols. That's great because it really fits into a lot of places. Um, with the, with the you know, like new tech and vMix and live stream and data video and, and, and black magic. And, you know, they all have their positive sides and they all have their negative sides. It's, it's which ones fit to the client's needs. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to fit the one that, that we want our clients to be happy, right? I want them to, you know, get their stuff in six months or a year ago. We either want another one or they're telling their friends going, these guys really took their time to help us get the right piece for the job with that we needed instead of just trying to sell us a box. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, we've learned a lot just dealing with you guys. You, you guys have been in the industry for so long, specifically in this broadcast industry. So let me, let me end on this. Um, you have four locations. Tell us where they are and tell us how we can get in touch with you. Uh, we're in Montreal, Toronto, Winnipeg, and Edmonton. Uh, it's videolink.ca is our website. There is a contact sheet with all four offices and our, our reps. A little picture and a phone number. And, and uh, they're all friendly people and they're all very knowledgeable people. Um, 
you know, and we're and we're constantly looking for new people. Um, right now, we're trying to open up an office in BC, so we, you know, we, we'd be kind of coast to coast. I'm from the East Coast, and um, and we take care of that pretty good out of the Montreal and Ontario office, but but the BC office, we're looking for somebody now to set up out there. All right, if anybody's out there, oh, yeah. Bruce is hiring. Um, and, and and again, we're you know we're trying to grow not fast. We're trying to grow smart, and we're and and again with the product lines, we. We, we don't want to have everything and and this year we're cutting off a couple more a couple more product lines because you know there's been this issue or that issue or whatever it is i mean we want we want things to run smooth for our customers that's what it's all about to me to me it's about we want the client we don't want people saying anything bad about us and we don't want to be too busy that that's going to happen and we don't want to be too busy that we can't answer them within you know a day and we that's what we don't want. So we try very hard to kind of, you know, grow slow, grow smart, and, and help our clients. That's bottom line for us. It's obviously snowballing for you because you're providing a great support you know, it, and the customers are coming back to you. It's been, um, we've had growth over the last four or five years, and that's probably why, because we stop and listen and we try to, we try to give them what they need, not what we want to sell. I think that's really important. Well, thank you so much, everybody. This has been Bruce Richardson from VideoLink. Uh, as he said, VideoLink.ca, and he's got four offices in live all, all the, live from Las Vegas, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be live all day today. Thanks, for, thanks, Bruce. Thanks, man. Thanks for having us. Yes. All right. Stop the record.